After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, man. I didn't even notice this before. Uh, he kept going for another seven years. But his stopped. Damn. They, like, tailored everything in this game. Like, we're going to make you cry. <laughs> Guess what? You like crying? You're going to cry. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Uh, book again is the key. Wow, that's cool. Why wouldn't you want to keep this house? It's badass! I mean, I understand lots of painful memories, I guess, but... Holy crap! Passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Okay, wait. Yeah, one we'll latch that. Yeah, now we got another way in. Wow, through the wine cabinet. Awesome. Milton was here once more. Hmm. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Looks like she was really in only one movie, though. Yeah, that there is brush script if I've ever seen it. I know my brush script anywhere. It's a typeface. Cool. Oh, she had a doll. There it is again! They love brush script in this game. Wow. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Yeah. She only lived to 16. Dreadful Stories starring Barbara Finch. She worked as a waitress in a diner, I guess. Alice in Wonderland. Siddhartha, about Buddha, Siddhartha Gautama, right? Greek Tales. Got several copies of the same books. What you doing, Barbara? Happy birthday, Barbara. She only took one bite of that cookie cake. I assume that's what that is. Oh wait, no, those, those holes around the edges are for candles. I bet there are 16. 16 candles. That doesn't have anything to do with anything. I just... Yeah, Seattle Starlet. So the... the okay. Okay. What well, I said earlier about R Mount Rainier is probably correct. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. They wrote about her death? Featuring old Jack? Old Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it The Surprise Ending of Barbara Finch. Okay, since he has a pumpkin head, a child was she star, poisoned by the Barbara was famous for her scream. <whistles> now at 16, she was all washed up. A has been. This is but awful. In a lucky break. She'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> mm, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. 
He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums in Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. She reached for the music box. Look at the hand. Oh, I'm doing it. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Oh. What? This is kick ass. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. Oh my god! This is so awesome. to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Oh my god. She's a babysitter, too. Golly, it's just too good. Walter, are you there? Walter vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Orca's Island police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned. What? Saw the hook man and was speechless. He was quite smashing. And he couldn't get enough of Barbara. Okay, Barbara. There's got to be another way out of here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Go, Barbara, go. She played her part beautifully. Oh my god. Molly's door hadn't been opened in years. The hinges grow. He 
wasn't moving, but she sensed the story might not be over yet. Oh my god. He's gonna be gone when I get down there, isn't he? He's gonna be gone when I get down there. He's gone. He's gone. The hookman had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was... <gasps> what? Don't open the door, go oh, please! Don't open this door no matter what you do. She heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. The call was coming from inside the house. There's more than one? Saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara. Was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. What? Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> what a worthless person. Who made this into a comic book? If all, if all that's the true story, I mean... Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. I mean, maybe, but... Shit! Holy crap! Okay, so when I saw the pumpkin head, I was like, is this like pumpkin cake? Was she poisoned? Because she only took one bite. That's what I was initially thinking. But that's, that wasn't it. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Mm-hmm. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. Yeah, okay. I missed those, so I went back to get them. Uh, let's go ahead and I wonder and if that on. comic was right about there being a key inside the music box near the basement. I get where I'm supposed to- she keeps doing this. <laughs> she keeps- like, I keep walking around looking for stuff that I missed, and she keeps being like, there's probably a key in the music box. <gasps> and it's like, yeah, I understand. I know that it's just doing that in case someone is playing and is getting lost and doesn't know where to go next, but... Don't need you chiming in every two seconds, Edith. All right, let's uh, let's move on now. Boop, 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 boop. I did it. Let's go to the music box, I guess. Maybe I should go check out that music box down oh by the basement. Oh my god! And we got a key. Let's use it, please. Okay, going into the basement.
Pool table. In the basement, right. That is... Oh boy, that brings back memories of playing chess on the computer. That's the little king symbol. Is it? Or is it the queen? Damn, I don't know. I think it's the king. Well, they got a they got a neat little basement here. Sheesh. Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Uh, another one. I like the dwarves. That's a nice touch. I've seen a couple of those around other rooms. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. It's really dark down here. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. Typical kid. Everything's about presents, isn't it? It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. What? 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 I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. Are she you... said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Are you freaking serious? If there's a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Walter. 53. He lived a long time for a finch. Gotta say. We'll pick it up in a second. Walter liked trains, apparently. Oh, it's a fake window. Looks pretty legit, though. If it was just a little bit bigger, you couldn't see the frame. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive the evening. What? But after a few days, <laughs> I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Yeah, Having a canned peaches. Living for today. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Well, we're doing it again? Eat more Even canned peaches? On the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. And then one day, everything just... stopped. 2005, wow. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe you got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. So it's this been is... a week now. The longest in 30 years. So this is who Edie was giving packages to? I'm done waiting. I have to leave. Well, I still can. You don't want to go out this side? Yeah, it's not going to let me. Where's the hatch go? What? What a crazy house this is. Oh boy. I know it's out there somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. Oh. And Molly. And Calvin. Really? 
Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. That's pretty cool. So he's the mole man? Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. Yeah, I'd imagine after eating. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Canned peaches for 30 years. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one more day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Got run over by a train. That's that Finch family curse at work again. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Well, can you blame her? I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Yeah, let's go down there too. See what's up underneath the house. What does it look like now? Is it gonna lead back outside, you think? Maybe down to the beach? We gotta loop back around to the house though, because there's still some rooms Maybe that we she haven't explored. I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Hmm. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Look at all those cans. Mm-mm, peaches. Mm-mm, peanut butter. And jelly. And sweetie crisps. Just so great. <laughs> oh, boy. Pea soup. Disgusting. Pork chunkies. You had some good variety down here. But if you got peanut butter and jelly, you need bread. Where's the bread? How would you even have bread? Tasty beans. My favorite. I prefer my beans. Trying to Not bury tasty. something that's still alive. <sighs> Why well, it's pitch black down here? I can't see anything. Okay. Hey, let's not get hit by a train. Left. Or maybe two. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. And found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse. We made it real. Hmm. I can see that. Huh. What's that island out there? I want to go out there. There's a blinking light. This is like so vanishing of Ethan Carter. <laughs> with, the tr with the train tracks and the tunnel. I don't know if I should even be riding this. Chairs up in the trees. Was there like a hurricane or something? Or... Hmm. Hurricane in the Pacific Northwest. Maybe just a storm. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. Okay, Edith. I'm gonna need you to calm down a little bit. What? But I thought you should know about your family. Wow, look at the statue. And the history you're a part of. Would I go down there? I don't think so. Scenery looks great. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. Who are you talking to? I think the people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. Just 
just want to look over here real quick. Ah, oh, there's the house. I want to go all the way up there, dude. We're going to have to do that at some point. Go up into the attic. I want to see the view up there. Look, there's like bridges on the outside. It's badass. It's like a... It's like a ship boat. This is the real Hello Neighbor. <laughs> That's what the Hello Neighbor's uh, house should look like. I'm just walking out here, no big deal. Alright, we'll walk back up. We're gonna spend all night here and stay until dawn. And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. Let's do it. We've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. Can I please get this lantern? Oh, come on. I do need some light. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? The finches, apparently. Oh, here's the cemetery. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. This is the pet cemetery? Three of the troubles are mine, and two had been my fault. Wah, <laughs> pets. <laughs> Animals never die. My pet's never going to die. My dog's going to live forever. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Oh, they get like a thematic headstone. <laughs> kind of depressing, kind of morbid, but. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. Wow. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. That's what that is? Oh, we gotta look at the telescope. Okay, here we go. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Wow. side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Hmm. They all died so young. Especially Gregory. Boy. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Sanjay Kumar? Huh.
Hmm. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. Let's go to this badass treehouse, dude. Looking back on it now, if she told me there was going to be so much climbing, <laughs> I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. What? I mean, I thought, when I looked down, I was like, hmm. But I was like, surely she would mention that. Okay. Damn, Edith. Who's... Who's the lucky dude? Slash Lady. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. Ah, oh, there's a there's a bear on the floor. Sweet. They were both pretty intense. Okay, this person liked to hunt. And they liked their taxidermy. Sam. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Shooting photos? Hmm. What the heck? We'll go in here in a second, how about that? It seems like we got more business in here first. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. A little short for this people. Oh, poor squirrel, about to get swiped. About to get slapped. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we're gonna open it up. Photos. There's a selfie. Check it out. Oh, don't take your. <laughs> don't take a picture of a child while they're asleep. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are gonna last a lifetime. Mm hmm. What? Am I gonna have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip. Perfect. Oh, oop. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Oh. I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. This is neat. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Hmm. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's a keeper. I'm just saying, I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff, if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Oh, I got that one wrong. Ooh, I got it wrong. Is it this? Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Your grandpa Sven taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. No? I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Am I trying to spot an animal? Dad. Oh, here we go. 
Took me a while to find that. I just didn't turn all the way to the right. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Get a picture of me. Oh. Oh, there you go. Gotta wait for her to turn back. Here, Dad. Dad, I... Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. Great shot, Don. Oh. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Oh, I'm moving I'm moving him. Oh, that's that's really cool, but damn. Dad, it, it's twitching. I think that's it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about Dad! Oh! Oh my god. Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Oh boy. Jeez. Ah. As, she, as soon as she said it was twitching, I was like, damn it. It would be so tragic if it came to life and <laughs> came to life. It was already alive. If it became conscious and knocked him off the cliff. Golly. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Hmm. Yeah. Can imagine. Gregory, we're here in his room now. Oh boy. Ah. Uh, he was very young. Divorce contract to Sam Finch. K. That's who it, we saw the box with K on it in the previous room. I was wondering, dear K. Do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh? When he thought he was alone. Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Oh. Oh my god, that's cool. Hand over, Gregory. It's time to hold on, sweetie. Hello, Sam. I told you I don't want to talk right now. It says Gregory on the side. I wonder what he saw. Let's knock all the letters down. Wow. Lost in his imagination. Whatever it was, he saw. Damn it, it's really hard to get these off. I know there's an achievement for it, I looked. Ah ha ha! I got it! I got the achievement. Okay, so no, for real. Time to actually <laughs> progress the story. Oh my god. It sure made him happy. <laughs> hey, I had a I had a whale just like that.
Don't tell me he drowned in the bathtub. Okay, up there. I know how silly it sounds. But I'm worried about a baby being too happy. But I can feel him slipping away. Sorry about that, Gregory. I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't caught that night. Damn it. Hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. Freaking knew it. I wish he could have told us about the world he saw. There's so much I don't understand. Oh, about everything. About everything. Sam. Let's draw a cute little picture next to him now. <laughs> oh, Lee.